And he's <sighs> dead. Now, I have a little bit of space to work with here. So let me take this guy out. Yeah. Didn't quite kill him. Uh, this is gonna get tricky. And he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. So that other guy bought me some time because this guy was gonna move into the same spot, but he took it up. So I'm gonna do something else now. In addition to the combat ability, you also get two other abilities, one of which is running, something you may actually do a lot of in this game. The other one is called Untrained Aim. What this is, is this is your first stance. A stance is an ability you do to put an effect on yourself that will actually drain a vital over time, such as mana or energy. Now. In this case, the effect that it puts on you is aiming. What that does is it increases your firearm skill and your bow x bow skill. It does decrease your defense, so this is not something you want to use when something is in melee with you. But this guy seems to be moving pretty slow, so I think that we can get this going here. So I'm going to use my untrained aim, and I'm now taking aim. So, I'm going to fire at him with a little extra skill. Yeah. Didn't quite kill him, did hit him. And you notice the little drain there of mana. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's dead. So let me search. When multiple creatures die in one location, they more or less form a little pile. So I'm going to search a pile here. Let's see what we got. Oops, I forgot to turn that off, didn't I? Oh, gloves. I don't have gloves. All right, put them there. Ooh, a knife, a throwing knife, and I got two of my arrows back. Once you start an ability, especially a stance, you can. You got a couple of different ways you can kill it. For instance, you can just do this and go cancel. Or, you can actually go to your status screen, which shows you your vitals, your percentage, the weight carried. You carry too much weight and you'll, you'll learn the, the, uh, the pain of an, eff of an effect called burden. The more you carry, the more you're weighed down, the more you're burdened. That will increase the action times, the recover times, increase the amount of time you need to move from place to place. And it will hurt your dexterity, which kills your defense. Here, you'll see your regen times. You can get items to enhance these later. And then you have the current effects that are on you. Nice green one is a positive one. Red ones are bad. Death Plague Stage 1 is very bad. But hopefully we won't run into this, in this demo at least. All right. Here's the third way you can, second way you can actually do this. You can actually click this and hit cancel effect, and it'll ask you, you want to cancel it? No, actually I don't. Let me show you why. The last way to kill a stance is to move. Poof, it's gone. So let's search this other guy over here. And, oh, he's got a cotton shirt. He's got cotton gloves. So he's wearing a necklace and a ring. How frugal. Oh, and he's got he's got one of my arrows. So uh oh burden. I guess I'm carrying too much. And I've also lost two arrows. Yeah. Quick look in here. Anything in here? Ooh, I got chemicals and I got a shotgun. But I need to do something about that weight. So let me see about this. Coin, that's a nice little sellable. I need to drop things is what I need. Let's get rid of this torn shirt. It's not worth anything. Uh, worn pants. I should probably eh, lose that. I don't need the patch gloves because I have nice gloves. And I don't need the cotton shoes anymore. I would say that's probably the main problem. But I'm now under the limit. So it's not a big deal. So what I do want to do, however, is... 
equip those gloves. Keep my hands warm. There we go. I'm gonna try this one more room, a little extra trick. Hopefully I'll get a little space in here so I can show you yeah. how that wasn't nice. Oh, and he's using Reckless Slam on me. Um, creatures can use abilities as well. This little dopey guy has but one ability, but unfortunately it's very nasty if he gets it on you. If he was to knock me down, he would then go for a really bad infected bite, which could give me death plague. And I'd really rather not cover that here, so I'm actually going to actively defend against this attack. And I resisted it. Now it's his turn to go down. Yeah. And now I'm going to do something quite different. I'm actually going to run to the other side of the room. This reduces my movement to a very small amount. He's trying to do that. Hopefully, yes. He tried to do something, but I am out of range. As you can see, my running is burning energy. So what I'm going to do now, pardon me, is I'm going to stop. Because this is what I wanted to do. I want to demonstrate thrown weapons. When you use an item, there's two different types of items, categories. There's combat ones and there's non-combat ones. Combat ones are essentially thrown items. I am actually going to throw a Molotov cocktail at him now. Yeah. He is now on fire. If I select the NPC and I look, I can see that he has got a burning dot on him that tick that is going that ticks until it's done. Each time it ticks, he loses health. Now, there is a skill in the game called throne skill. If you put points into that and boost it with other methods, these number of damage will actually go up because you're better at throwing and you have a better chance of landing it. There are actually other types of thrown items as well. For instance, rusty knife. And I missed him, so I lost my knife. I won't cry over lost knives. We'll try dart now that he's a little closer. Yeah. And a little bit of burning. Yeah. I can hit him again with another dart. But. Yeah. Bet you never saw this in a zombie apocalypse movie. Using a zombie as a dart board. Yeah. Nearly got yeah. him. As a matter of fact, I think the fire will finish him off. But I got one more dart. Yeah. And down he goes. So if I go back over to him now, though. Ooh, I got my darts back. After all, they are actually stuck in him. The knife, unfortunately, is gone, and of course, the Molotov cocktail is not something that comes back as well. So I think this gives you a good overview, as I said, a look inside of the game in progress. It's hoped this will be actually be in the App Store in the first quarter of next year, Apple willing. So thank you very much for your attention, and have a really good day.